My name is Jimmy, his name is Jake, and this is The Weekly Dumb. Jake, how are you? James, Zach, everyone else tuning in. Summer is here. Uh, kind of. It went away for a little bit, but it's here. But I was happy it went nice away weekend. for a little bit. I like yeah. I like the 70 with a breeze. Weather. Perfect sports weather. Good sports weather. Especially if you're sitting in your seat that you got from SeatGeek. Let's go to the sports, Jake. Wow. Jim, your White Sox played your Tigers. Uh, two of the AL Powers this year. And we had a walk-off to remember. Uh, ump got <gasps> pelted. He might not remember it. He still hasn't made a call. This was funny. And everyone's like, oh, it, it, a walk off, hit the ump in the face. Yeah. But it would have been a walk off anyway, because if it didn't hit him in the face, it would have went to the backstop. Some more highlights from this. All three runs scored in this game on wild pitches. That's pathetic. Baseball. <laughs> That's pathetic. That's AL Central baseball. You think the ump was in on it? I don't. I don't. I don't. But I there think is he just got something. Pelted. If you took a fastball to the face. Like that. This isn't a laughing You'd show. You'd talk about it forever. You'd tell everybody. I don't know. You might be kind of shook up and not want three jokesters on the weekly dumb. Zach. Oh, my God. Drawing blood on his face. Throw this on my face. We'll reenact it. I stood tall, though. You did. Dan Rourke. Jim, this is almost a breakdown you are just telling Joe's about. Almost a breakdown. We're staying with baseball. The College Baseball World Series is happening. Actually, it's not the World Series. It's the regionals. Winners go to the Super Regionals. Winner of the Super Regionals go to the World Series. It's a whole lot of hoopla. The softball's been really exciting. The baseball, there's a lot. There's too many games right now. So TCU versus Arkansas. This guy, Trey Richardson. How many home runs did he have all season, Jim? He had two home runs during the regular season, Jim. And in the first inning he had a grand slam it's great second inning grand slam and then later on in the game hit another home run for fun three homers more than he had all season jim you can't predict baseball you know we've tried and we've done we've done actually a really good job so you can predict baseball. sometimes you can predict you it can yeah. predict baseball and i had this so the second home run second grand slam he shrugs around the bases and then he touches home plate and he shrugs again and he's like uh, what can i say i'm hot so congrats to trey richardson metal bats more sports. I'm interested in this one. I don't think Zach knows what's about to hit him. James, this hits a couple chords for you and me. As Sweden officially declares sex as a sport and to organize European sex championship, from what I can tell where this overlaps for you and me, me, sex, for you, creeps judging people having sex. Yeah. yeah. Whoever declared this a sport and is judging it is gross. I wonder if they'll sell tickets at SeatGeek. Go get yourself some. I do wonder if this is going to be a ticketed event. I'm sure there's some. Uh, that's Sweden. The championship will compete for six hours each day yeah. over the course of many weeks with individual matches lasting 45 to 60 minutes. Zach, what we're going to grade the different disciplines on, I think the best comparison I have in my head currently is gymnastics, but sex. So we will be doing seduction. Sure. Body massages. All yeah, right. You just have to like get someone out of the crowd. Oral sex, oh. penetration. A uh, pose execution, creativity in position. I'm interested in that one. Number of orgasms given. <laughs> How are they judging that? Artistic. Male only? Artistic performance. Okay, so like painting with the. Which I like to dip my hat into. Pose transitions. I'm interested in that. And the capacity to raise blood pressure and heart rate during the competition. So we'll hook up some of those like whoops and just start like. Mm. Who the fuck at that? The creepiest guy. The creepiest guy. No, no one knows his angle. What about their heart rate? Let's, let's see if they can raise their blood pressure while they're doing it. Because my heart rate goes up. I'm interested for the first cheating scandal to come out of this sport. I want to know how that plays out. That's a fake penis. This not sports story hits a bigger chord with you, to be fair, but strikes a chord with me. I laughed out loud when I read this headline. Uh, Onita City School District teacher has been arrested for intentionally tripping a five-year-old student in the hallway. Yeah. Just a uh, little kindergarten kid. Punk. Kid's a punk. Kid's a disaster. Kid was like pulling oh, hair. Oh, I can't believe it. He was it. being rude. And, you know, this 50-year-old teacher just... Sticks a little toe out. Kids fall all the time. So arrested. There's a lot going on here because for her, a trip is usually linked accidentally. Yeah. If you trip a five-year-old kid, you could play that off fairly oh, easily. Yeah. They fall all the They're time. They're not releasing the video to protect her, so it must be bad. It was blatant, and Sharon isn't denying it. I tripped that fucker. And Jack Keller. Three, two, one, eight point five. Yeah. 
do a gong noise. Jake and I did the same exact score. A spokesperson for the state police said he could not recall anyone facing charges for an incident like this, but said the trip caused enough risk to the child to warrant criminal charges. Now, the child didn't get hurt, but enough for us. So maybe it was by the stairs. I was just going to say, there's there has to be an element that we don't have here. The other, Because if you're just tripping to normal ground and you're a five-year-old, that's an activity. That's like a hobby of five-year-olds. To If there's stairs or maybe a wall or like a knife sitting up on the floor, then it's like, whoa. The kid had scissors. Hey, take these scissors to Miss Joker Pencil. Oh, Jake. Any that's blood scary. there? That's Are you going blood scene. there? No, Are soup. you going blood soup. there? Soup. Corn. Soup. Corn. It's corn soup. Yeah, and reminder, we've talked about this before. Our friend Ken got front table topped. Usually you have to table top someone from behind so they don't see you coming. Right in front of his face, uh, bent down and then pushed over. He doesn't like when we share that. He says, please don't share that publicly. Uh, but yeah, our friend Ken, front table topped. Embarrassing. Look. It's the employee of the week. It's the employee of this week, last week. I want to go with the top. Because he's got... Oh, fuck. What? Did you promise it to someone? No. Oh. Promise employee of the week. Imagine. That's not how this works. No, but this person was really excited. He walked in this morning and he asked me, did you ever find out how big Aaron Judge's toe is? Ah. Uh, so the fact that he was in on that. So it goes to Aaron Mike. Judge's toe. Aaron Judge's toe, aka Mike, who helped with our live event. That was really fun. And we are doing Talking Yanks. Yes app, and he is making that work so we can do it from the office. Mike. He has won it before, the picture of him on the jet ski. Yeah. Use that same pick. No, it was a better picks. That was the Weekly Dumb! Today's episode of the Weekly Dumb was brought to you by Seat Geek. If you don't know what Seat Geek is, you're a nerd. Their ticketing app that makes buying tickets super simple. With over 28 million downloads, Seat Geek is the number one rated ticketing app. There are more than 70,000 events every single day on Seat Geek, including sports, concerts, festivals, and maybe sex sport. We've got the hookup for you. Use code DUMB for $20 off your first purchase at Seat Geek. That's $20 off your first purchase with promo code DUMB. Click the link in the description to download the app. What did you do, Miss Sharon? Why are you in jail? Oh, I tripped a five-year-old kid. <laughs> when we were in the Bronx office, I hadn't tripped anyone in a long time. And I threw my foot out there as like a gag. And I like clipped someone's foot and they like almost fell and caught their balance. And I was like, you can't trip people. Who'd you get? I have no idea, Jim. No idea. 